Detective James had always been a curious person. His inquisitive nature had led him to solve some of the most complicated cases in the past, and he was always looking for a new mystery to unravel. So, when a series of murders occurred in the small town of Miller's Creek, he knew he had to investigate. The first victim was found near the abandoned mine on the outskirts of the town. The body was badly decomposed, and the cause of death was unknown. However, Detective James noticed a strange pattern on the victim's skin that resembled a symbol. He took a photograph of it and sent it to his forensics team for analysis. As he delved deeper into the case, he found out that the other victims also had the same symbol on their skin. He knew he was dealing with a serial killer who had a twisted obsession with the occult. The townspeople were terrified, and everyone had a theory about who the killer could be. Some said it was the ghost of an old miner who had died in the mine, while others believed it was a curse from a witch who had lived in the town centuries ago. As Detective James investigated further, he discovered that the abandoned mine was once used by a secret society that practiced dark magic. He also found out that the society had a leader who was executed for his crimes. The killer had adopted the symbol used by society as his signature. Detective James finally pieced together the puzzle and uncovered the identity of the killer. It was a man who had been obsessed with society's teachings and wanted to carry on their legacy. He had chosen the abandoned mine as his killing ground and had been luring his victims there using the symbol as bait. With the help of his team, Detective James was able to catch the killer and bring him to justice. The town of Miller's Creek was finally safe again but the memory of the spectre of the abandoned mine would haunt Detective James forever.